still well before my But I mean like this part looks better than from the hand side. Has to be the right stomach feeling. Yeah. Go for it. When the start's good. Very energetic on the bike, very flamboyant, youthful, exuberance personified. Um, yeah, I still felt like a little boy compared to guys which are almost 20, 22, let's say. So, um, yeah, I still felt like a little bit like a little kid in this class. But, um, yeah, I was ready to battle with them and uh, show what I got. The MXGP of the Netherlands, MX2 race one, 30 minutes plus two laps about to get underway here. Who will it be that grabs that all-important Fox hole shot? Men down. Stay calm on this opening lap. There is the 74 of Kaido Wolf. He would love to win a race here. Third overall, Rockstar Energy Husqvarna Factory Racing, Kaido Wolf. Yeah, I think obviously he's the youngest one in the class and he's, he's competitive at times, uh, which is amazing. And where he makes the difference is, is obviously the skills in his riding and, and also uh, the ability sometimes to dig really, really deep and and, uh, and do something special. Yeah, to be part of the uh, factory team, it's really nice, nice opportunity, and uh, I'm gonna do my best, and we will see. Kai was nummer 2,5 toen hij voor de eerste keer op een quad stapte. Vervolgens was hij, na een half jaar bleef hij zeuren om een, om een dirtbike. Die is er gekomen en sindsdien is hij gewoon verslaafd geraakt aan het, aan het motocross. Dit was eigenlijk waar het all started op de quad hier in front of our house. Was, uh, I, I, I was like two and a half years old, I still... How do you say it? How do you say it? How do you say it? How do As a team from the factory side, you know, you, you bring in a young kid that you, that you believe in. Um, it also brings some investments in a, in a boy like that, you know, and a lot of sacrifices from, their fam from his family side and from everybody, you know. He doesn't really seem to be too affected by pressure. I think sometimes he even performs better under pressure, which is a very good tool to have. Uh, so, but from the team side, there was not there was not any pressure, you know. From our side, uh, just just work hard, and, and we will see where we are at, you know. Good morning, Hans. Hansi. always uh, a lot more heavy at the, on the actual GP than when we just go on a normal training day, you know, so it is definitely the toughest track uh, in the world. I think if you're having a good flow on the track, it's, it's, it can even be maybe more physical demanding other tracks, you know, other like medium kind of tracks, but if you're struggling in normal, it's, it's long 35 minutes. Time practice, especially in normal, it's really important to get the flowing lap because, like, yeah, if you make a small mistake in the sand, the bike stops completely. So, um, yeah, you really have to keep the flow. Remember, remember being light on the bike, yeah? being light, being smooth, staying the high gear yeah, yeah. Because if you if you're too aggressive in normal, you're also gonna bury the bike into the turns and and whatnot, you know, and then you're gonna lose all the momentum. So you want to find that good balance between being aggressive but staying on top of the sand, staying in the high gear, you know, and keeping the momentum everywhere. Uh, but that's of course very tricky in Lommel because if, you, if you're getting frustrated in Lommel, it's, it's very, uh, it can be a very long qualifying. Being light, being smooth, staying in the high gear everywhere, you know. 
keep the flow everywhere. You know what to do. Keep the focus. That'll be a good day. Maybe able to pull it back though. Sam Surfer. Tyler Wolf has just gone pole, by the way. 2.02. Two. You tried it outside before the wave. So Kyder Wolf does improve. Well, it's a personal best for him, a 36-1. This is going to be a good lap for Kyder Wolf if he can keep this together. Does he improve? Yes, he does. A 2.014 goes green again at sector four. Kyder Wolf, Rockstar and his is your top man. Bike feeling good? It, it has a nice flow, it looks like. It's not like... It has a pretty nice flow, everyone. But it looks like, because you're so far in the back, it's good for you, but the guys that are just a little bit to the front, they lose all the traction on the rear, coming out of that turn. Right hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we always watch um, the time practice of the MXGP. Um, we can always learn some lines and some stuff from the GP guys. So, uh, so you're starting to use too much energy in the beginning, it doesn't work. Yeah. Immediately get in your flow. So many, so many things can happen in the end of the race. Yeah. Firstly, see if there was anything we could have done better in our qualifying but also look a little bit ahead to our first moto because that, that's usually how the track will be, you know, when we, when we, uh, when we go out for our first moto. So, uh, yeah, we're just trying to help and use all the tools what we have to, to, to make everything work. You say eight, eight or what? That's what I looked yesterday, like from completely inside. Yeah, but it's not completely inside now, right? They block three. But I mean, like, this part looks better than from the inside. It has to be the right stomach feeling. Yeah? Just go for it. Huh? Just go for it. We'll just ask for it. Excited. Race time. The Fly Racing 15 second board is up for the first time. MX2 race one here along all round six. The MXGP of Flanders. Kyder Wolf looking to charge down the inside of Bodam. And he whoa, goes around the outside. Oh, I thought he was going to go around the outside of Harup as well. The out fourth as Kyder Wolf gives up a couple of positions here. Starting to burst through the cloud. Oh, heavy landing, landed like a pogo stick. Did the wolf. In the beginning, when you were trying to, you tried way too many stupid places, huh? Like, like I was like, ooh, you're spend, spending a lot of energy there, right, yeah. you know. Uh, unnecessary energy, yeah. you know, because the first laps, okay, everybody can go first, faster first laps, eh? but you see once, like we are in 10 minutes in, then if you keep that speed, then you can make such a big difference, but it was really good effort, did you go deep, you, you could save some energy there in the end a little bit, eh? I was like, there's no way I can get him, it's not like he's not trying, but when you don't have the flow here, that's the thing, you know. He's just going a little, little bit too I, slow I, into the turns. I, I, I'm not complaining, but he's sure. not. He's working his ass off, but mm. he's not getting the result. Yeah. It felt like Kai was was too aggressive, trying to pass where it was uh, not really possible, you know. Trying to pass, and every as soon as he got there, sometimes you need, in a sense, especially you need to set it up a little bit, you know. And if you open the corner here a little bit, then you you can kind of. You can kind of make the pass or, or prepare for the pass already three corners before you actually made the pass, you know. It's, it's a learning curve, you know. He needs to, to learn and, and, and this was a, a, a great learning, learning for the first motor of the day.
Did you speak already about goggle lane in case he comes in? Don't, don't worry about that. The technique. This one is both? Huh? Both, both for Kai. Ah, okay. This is the race and the other one is the, the reserve. I think it should be fine now. I don't, I don't know if it's going to rain anymore now. I think it should be fine. Yeah. that they lift the wheels all the way to the wheel because it's really sloppy before. Uh, well, this one is not that no, bad. This is good, that's what I mean, there's no doubt. See, like they didn't even clean the other ones properly. Oh no, I think he's gonna get it. Wait. Might be wise just to maybe just save a little bit of energy for the second race, but again, you do that, the rider or riders ahead of you fall, and you're not there to capitalize. But they run wide, and it's uh, Yago Kitts up the inside, but it's Kaida Wolf who emerges in the lead. Well, he got that perfect start that he was after. Wolf, Rockstar Energy, Husqvarna Factory Racing. Haven't seen too much of him because he's been out on his own, leading the way. Been other moments for us to capture. But looking steady, looking relaxed. He did lead a race in Os. But threw it away in race two. Hopefully he won't make the same mistake twice. You can see why Husky kept him on. Moved him up from EMX 250. Good effort this on the final lap from the number 93. Heavy landing that from Kaida Wolf though. It might be worth it in the end. Ah, oh, back marker right where he didn't want him, Peter Pollock. Kaida Wolf does win race two. His first ever win in MX2. Yeah. Holland has a new Dutch superstar and it's Kaida Wolf. He is victorious here in race number two. That first GP win, or like Moto win, was uh, really excited for me. And then also on the box again, second overall. All in all, it was just a very, very special feeling for, for sure for himself, for the whole team, family, everybody. And uh, it's uh, definitely also a moment that I will remember uh, as long as I stay in the sport. This is gonna be for second place. Great ride this from DeWolf, picking his way to the line now. And he crossed the line in second. Third overall, Kai DeWolf, Rockstar Energy, Husqvarna. Factory Racing, second and a six. His fourth visit to the podium this season. He was third overall in the Netherlands, second overall in Belgium, third overall in Sardinia, and third overall here at the final round. I had a pretty good season, actually. We were planned to be in top 15 overall in the end of the season and we finished seventh so um, yeah it was a really good year and I got four podiums so yeah and two pole positions so it was a really good season uh, for me yeah. and in motor win for no belangrijkste was van het hele filmpje erbij maar het hele film over gaat ja vergeet ik even zeggen